Okay. 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 Here we have uh, Marsha. Hi. Do I can do this without getting run over? The key here is to do this without getting hit by the cars. Amen. <laughs> okay, Marsha. Well, what are you doing out here? I'm out here to um, stand for life. Uh, you 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 go to Olive Baptist Church, I right? Do. Okay, so uh, how long ago was it you accepted Christ as your personal Savior? I accepted Christ when I was six years old, and then I rededicated my life at 13 at church camp. Well, wasn't that wonderful? Well, we'll be praying for you. I understand you just went through some cancer surgery, and right. you got some other things, uh, surgeries coming up. We're going right. to be praying for you. God bless right. you for taking your time to come out here and take this stand. And who is your friend here? This is Mark. Okay, Hi, Mark. Can I ask your young people to um, read Psalms 139 because it says that God saw us when we were being formed in the womb? Oh, amen. How about reading that verse okay. for us? It says, I pray, uh, for you created my, this is from Psalms 139, 13. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. So that's why we're out here, because God is the creator of life. 